All right, what's going on, y'all? It's Cooper here, one half of FCS, and it is that time of the week to break down the top matchups of this weekend in college football. With that said, let's go ahead and jump right into this. First up, we got Oklahoma taking on the West Virginia Mountaineers. West Virginia scared the heck out of Alabama in week one. And then last week versus Maryland, Clint Trickett put up over 500 yards. I believe that was second in school history behind Geno Smith. Ridiculous, and they've been surprising people. But I think Oklahoma is the best team in the Big 12. I think Trevor Knight is a legitimate Heisman Trophy contender, and I think they show it in this game. I think Trevor Knight comes up big. I think Oklahoma just plays well overall. and just plays the best of their ability, and I think they beat West Virginia by about two touchdowns. Move on to the next one. We got Miami, Florida versus Nebraska. Um, both teams, their records really don't show how they've been playing. Nebraska almost lost to an FCS opponent, and then Miami lost in week one to Louisville, and then they just haven't looked as dominant as they needed to be versus their uh, lesser opponent. But I think in this game, I have Miami winning it. I think they get Duke Johnson going. I think Kyle gets a little bit of confidence behind him, and I think they take that heading into the rest of the season. I think this is a turnaround game for Miami. I think they beat Nebraska in this game. Moving on to the next one, we've got the Oregon Ducks taking on Washington State. Oregon is the best team in college football at this point in time. And I think they show it in this week. They've been playing just on point. Everything's been great. I think Washington State is going to give them a hard time a little bit because you know they love to throw a lot of passes. I believe they threw 89 last year versus Oregon. Something ridiculous like that. And I think they do that again. But I think Oregon is going to be prepared for that. Um, their defense will eventually make some plays. And then Mariota does what Mariota does. Shows why he's the front runner for the Heisman Trophy this season. Next up, we've got East Carolina against North Carolina. East Carolina had a big-time win over Virginia Tech last week, um, and they gave South Carolina a scare as well. So I think they beat North Carolina. Shane Carden is legit. He's the real deal. Um, I haven't seen too, too much North Carolina this year. I know they're solid, ranked ACC team, but North East Carolina is looking impressive. I think they win this game. Moving on, big-time SEC game of the week. Florida, Alabama. I have Alabama pulling that one out. Florida is a much improved team from last year. Not even close to the same team. But I think Alabama finally has their quarterback situation settled out. They're going with Blake Sims. He's the guy. Amari um, Cooper has been playing out of his mind. That run game is still there. They're going to ground and pound you with Derrick Henry, uh, Kenyon Drake, and CJ Yeldon. I think Alabama runs all over him, takes some shots down the field, and just gets Amari Cooper involved in the screen passing game as well as much as possible. I think Alabama comes away with this win at home. Next up, we've got LSU and Mississippi State. A lot of people calling this an upset game, but I think LSU's got it. I think LSU is starting to figure it out. They're getting their run game going. Their defense is elite. And uh, I think LSU wins this game over Mississippi State. Mississippi State, though, not a team to sleep on. And I, do not, I would not be surprised if they almost give LSU a scare. Moving on, this is almost like an upset pick of the week for me. I have Virginia beating BYU. Virginia scared Brett Hundley and the UCLA Bruins in week one. And then they turned around and they beat Louisville. So I think Virginia is a lot better than think that people thought they were going to be. People have BYU going undefeated, but I think it's almost like a trap game for them. I have Virginia win this game, and I think they're going to shock some people and uh, be not contender in ACC, but be in the upper half of that table rather than the bottom like previous years. And then the matchup everyone has been talking about, the Jameis Winston story, suspended for the help first half. Oh my gosh, what is Florida State going to do? Who is this Sean McGuire guy? Is Clemson going to take advantage of this? Oh my goodness, let's break it down. Um, Sean McGuire, I've seen him play countless times. I am a Florida State season ticket holder. I see him play every time they take Jameis out. He is solid. He's solid. Nothing outstanding, but he gets the job done. He knows that offense like the back of his hand. Um, I don't think it's going to be hurt Florida State too much. He's not going to make those huge plays like Jameis is going to make, but I think he's going to be all right. He's, they're going to check down a lot. They're going to hand the ball off to Carlos Williams and Pender a lot. And I think knowing Jimbo, he might take one or two shots to keep Clemson honest so they don't just keep on stacking the box so they let him keep, continue to check down. But I think they will manage. The key to this game is going to be Florida State's defense. Um, they rot uh, Clemson rotates quarterbacks with Deshaun Watson and Cole Stout. 
I think that can cause a little bit of problems, but Florida State's defense played outstanding versus this team last year. They have a lot of guys returning. Clemson lost a lot of firepower. So I think Florida State pulled this one out. I think the first half be relatively close, maybe like 14-10 at halftime, something of that nature. I think Jameis comes in, plays not outstanding, but just good enough to get Florida State that win. Closer than what people I actually I think it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close, but Florida State's gonna pull this one out. And that is the picks for this week. All the big time matchups. Let me know down in that comment section below where you think I was wrong, who you think will win these matchups, and then other games or upset calls around the country that you may have. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and then just leave your comments, uh, your thoughts in that comment section below. Follow me on Twitter at Cooper underscore sports and hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Cooper signing out.